All right, everyone, welcome into Squad Ops One Life Event. Today we have Operation Hike in the Hills. Operation Hike in the Hills. I'm B Car. I'm going to be giving you guys the bird's eye view of what's going down today. Um, because I don't know. Nobody knows. No one knows what exactly is going on. No one knows what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the people that are in the operation don't know what's going on. It's going to be a bunch of people. It's going to be the blind leading the blind at night. That's, that's, that's exactly what's going down. Once again, I'm B Car. going to be giving you guys commentary for today's operation. One operation today. The only one. Not having a session two tonight because it is Memorial Day weekend. And definitely have a lot of people out of place um that and today's operation might be a little low as far as numbers go however um if you got the basic tag i'm pretty sure you can find a slot uh if you got basic come on down to the discord and get yourself in the channel and i'm sure an admin will be able to help you uh join the operation before we get started today so uh let's talk about what we got going on as soon as i get my bearings okay good to know we're gonna be we're gonna be traveling we're gonna be traveling uh northeast here while we talk about what's going on with the operation so hike in the hills is a patrol op we've got uh us on patrol uh starting from one of three locations patrolling up to five areas and i think at the end they get to put down a hab or sorry a uh, fob Yes, they get to put down a fob and defend the last point of the patrol until they're done with the mission, which can be whatever you'd like to think. So, that's what's going down. We've got a uh, nighttime map. I think today was originally supposed to be a daytime map, but eh, things change. INS are going to be starting in various locations. Um, they may or may not have intelligence to support where the U.S. are going to be going. I uh, don't think we're going to have access to that right off the gate. Um, they have a uh, they have a one in six chance to get uh, pieces of information for the patrol um, in the form of uh, gossip. I believe it's called in the operation document. So we'll see the chance for um you know ins to be able to set up some sort of ambush on this patrol um it's a large area to cover um not sure if you're aware this is basically in the entirety of coad aside from the southeast hill and the north shelves um where the uh the mountain range is so it's uh it's a bit of a area to cover um especially considering INS are not going to have all the information going in. U.S. aren't even going to know where they're going to go. Um, we do have, uh, we have QA some routing in, but that's going to be all up to our event admin's discretion, or sorry, our uh, company command's discretion. So it comes down to uh, U.S. being aware the entire time, keeping situational awareness, and not screwing up maneuvers. Um, it's also going to come down to platoon having a solid plan and building it on the fly there's really no way to prepare for this particular operation only because there's just so many options i could show you the map of all the options where everything would go but i think that would spoil the surprise not really interested in spoiling the surprise then i have no idea what's going on so uh with that said we're gonna go ahead and pop in here to uh the live layer we got players joining in points on the map here all right oh no we're gonna i think everybody to the operation jack is gonna give uh, a briefing tonight, so we're gonna listen in gate has tasked us with doing a friendly neighborhood patrol to a few locations our primary patrol point is going to be kilo 867 marked on your maps if everyone could open those up uh, my plan to accomplish our mission, we're going to split the uh, platoon into basically two parts. Part one is going to be squad four with the two MATVs. They're going to head over to their phase line, which is going to be over on the uh, mark there. 
They're going to then get eyes on the hill and start looking south, surveying to see if they see enemy activity. While that's going on, the rest of the platoon, led by Killer, followed by Cartel, then Evan, are going to basically single file, run it down the main road, all the way down to their phase line, marked with a helicopter mark. That's the phase line. From there, we're going to split into three parts. Evan's squad is going to head to Squad 3's mark. We're going to have uh, Killer and Cartel spread to their marks. So Squad 1, you get Mark uh, with your mark. And then if we could get Cartel to mark with his mark. And then we're going to have the two infantry squads, Squad 1 and 2, advance along the marks like this. While Evan's squad, Squad 3, provides covering fire from the North Hill. If they don't have any vision from there, they're then going to cross and proceed with the rest of the team, basically in a platoon attack marked on the map with the arrows. Once we get to the objective, we're going to have either cartel or killer squad. We're going to make an audible. They're going to go in, sweep the town, make sure there's no enemy activity. From there, we're going to wait for new orders and then do the same thing on another point. If you guys have any, have any actual questions, please reference them to your squad leads as we prep for live. Uh, Let's get those guys in the vehicle, squad four, and infantry prepare on the road to mount, march south. I'm gonna ride in the potential craziness going on here. Well, that's fine. Um, we're live with round one of Hiking the Hills. Maintain some spacing between the squads, so one, two, and three, just single file sprinted down. If there's a more direct route Whoa. to take that, then just following the road. My body has just been catapulted by a uh <laughs> okay hold on the vehicle ran over my body because my body was technically right there okay <laughs> okay oh we're we're back we're back all we're right back. walking <laughs> pace we can go for now walking pace we'll separate if we have to that sounds bad Okay. Oh, that means I have to redo all of my settings here. Okay. Got vehicles just heading west out of the northeast spawn point on the road. And then three groups of infantry, three squads of infantry are walking down the road to the south. I guess it's more like a it's more like a dirt path. I'm sure it qualifies as a secondary road, but uh, that's what it is. Apologies if uh, you hear an echo in the background. I um, I just moved into this place, and I have nothing on the walls and nothing on the floors. So uh, it's a little echoey. <laughs> um Hopefully get that fixed here uh, in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. At least for the wall stuff. That's my mission today. After this, I'm going to put some stuff on the walls. But, uh, or at least tomorrow anyway. I don't think I have any more. I don't think I have enough, uh, those uh, command tabs, the, the, uh, the removable hanger stuff then I got a lot of walls anyway let's see we already have INS positions on the map let me guess oh it's an SPG techie Slater uh, fire team lead we got Seval Sabu Sabu Sabio uh, here with a lat Plus, the uh, SPG Techie is manned. And we can see them in the distance here. Uh, let me give you a little perspective on the ground here. It's a bit far away, but it is visible um, at this distance. Maybe over there. Too far. And if these guys shoot... This is command, be advised, I have eyes on the... It looks deserted. I will uh, keep you guys... If these guys shoot, if these guys see... Oh no. Frank SPG round could take on multiple. 
I don't think the gunner is visible right now. That's bad. Let's see, where's the gunner? The gunner is looking this direction. He's looking this direction. Why isn't he shot yet? It is time to shoot, my friend. Uh, squad four, have your gunner stay on, heads on swivel, have your fire team lead top out. We're still rolling down the hill here. Looking different the, there's still an SPG techie here. It looks like the first squad has found defilade. Uh, still rolling down the hill. Uh, it looks like squad one has accidentally found a formation. Squad two still rolling. Um, SPG Techie probably sees these guys. I don't know why. Maybe they're looking for the vehicles. If they're holding fire because they're looking for the vehicles, this is pretty smart. Although the vehicles are to their direct, more towards their direct north. They are up on the hill. I think the vehicles are pretty safe at this point, unless they pull up to the edge of the hill. And uh, also that goes the same with most of the infantry now. They're down the hill. Uh, I, thanks, Getty. Uh, I do think uh, there's still one squad left. Roll. I wonder what the SPG is waiting for. Because the, the SPG sees these guys. I know that's a fact. SPG was looking this direction. It is a little far away, but he does have a scope on the SPG. Yeah, he's definitely looking this direction, guys. And now the uh, technical or the uh, other vehicles are shooting. Looks like Charlie Foxtrot's fire team here got hit. Legar's down, taking 50 cal fire. Oh, he was a lat too. Smoke's being thrown here, trying to get Karaya Wolfie out of here. Sean uh, puts a couple smokes forward, but they still need to uh, they still need to bloom. Charlie Fox now trying to get eyes on the Matt V's that are up here on the road. And he'll see both of them. Flame Mage and Viper there. as more infantry squads continue. Matt V's are engaging something over here. Oh, look at that. Flat shot, overshot. But uh, there goes the SPG techie, I believe. Maybe that's not the SPG techie. But uh, another fire team in the hills getting shredded from a distance. Two to three enemy KIA. There's a battery uh, coming off that vehicle seconds, running west. Alright, we're seeing squad three now rolling towards the position. So we're gonna see infantry on infantry combat here just a minute or so. Matter of fact, we are seeing ARs come in from the northeast. We're gonna roll back over here with squad three. It's kind of a dicey situation for three because they've got to go down the hill and they gotta come up hill. So they're gonna be blind making a push onto this position. Because they gotta roll up that hill, but they still have the vehicles helping. That ridge line with the car with the blown up techie, so heads up. Copy that. Your south is completely fucked. Just keep the eyes looking south. These guys are still uh Wait, why is Dorf in AA? Is Dorf already dead? I thought Dorf was squad leading. Okay, I guess not. Lats coming in. Engage, shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down. Oh. And here's the push, two squads coming in. East to west. We don't really see anything out here. Oh, they're running away? There's like a full squad directly, uh, directly north of that destroyed vehicle. 
They're in VIX. It's like Lima 7. I think it's the SPG Techie. And they have another vehicle. Vehicle. SPG Techie, they have drone support. You hear the drone flying around. There's a squad of... It's a squad of backup, two squads, or two vehicles, a whole squad comes out, and Killer J is, they are right up against the hill here. They definitely know they're close. Contact front. Two Killer J immediately dies. Bartok crests the hill there. U.S. Right over there. Ballistic goes down, not before he puts a bullet into Spitfire. And INS are still going crazy. Blue Jericho runs up on Polar Serb, takes a bullet, but gets a kill. US forces now having to deal with grenades being thrown at them. You can hear the drone. Oh, a double kill! What a throw, Hamudi and Gorgadil go down. Fader gets blown up. I think that was simply Shay. Half a squad dead in a matter of seconds there. And with no leadership, they're gonna have to fall back. US patrol eating it very early. And it's not done yet. Like Just two squads have taken out about half a squad plus. Supervisor dies now. I, the, the drone is way strong, way strong. Oh, that's why Dorf's here. Dorf's the drone. I'm gonna come around to your west side, okay? How does squad one get full wipe? copies. That squad one get full wipe. They were on the short side of the hill and INS moved an entire squad in. Dorf basically talked him on the target, and he's still talking him on the target with the drone. All right, squad two, squad drone three. is very strong. In the village of Kilo seven, six, They're in the buildings, Kilo seven, U.S. skies are out in the open here, not for long. Hey, uh, look at that. Yeah, east, east, east. They're trying to shoot the drone, but Sneaky is taking fire. Yeah, they're way exposed. Sneaky trying to find the drone. Silhouette. Never mind. The vehicles need to get in a bit closer here to provide some more support fire. Um, U.S. definitely about to get cut completely off. Bartok fires another rocket. And it, I think it goes over the ridge line. And here comes INS. Two squads to push into the... Uh, the vehicles up on the ridge line here and Honu is by himself sneaky dead as INS attempt to push in from the side has friendly support but he's in a bad position eats a bullet eats a second one and there he is grenade hits blue Jericho and uh, has to bandage. I think Redipus got a piece of that too. So that's a full squad wipe very early on in the operation. Ada kind of looking for this contact and should see it very soon. INS just comfortably sitting on top of ridge lines here. kind of hard to see in the distance here and I definitely do have my gamma turned up a little bit for you guys to see. Tracer's coming in and looks like INS smart enough to displace immediately. 130, 132, 132. Is that friendly? Evan's confused here. King Mick gets hit. Summers with the AR puts a bullet twice into Aitken. I don't know if he's gonna survive it. Vital puts uh, some stuff in there. Oh, 
Oh, cranky. Nice. I'm glad it's relatively easy to see. It is night. Uh, I have the game. I have the, the game. The, the gamma boosted in OBS here a little bit, so. It's, uh, it's a thing that's happening. Uh, hard to tell, but it looks like we have a vehicle dismount. I think we're taking fire. Yeah, so INS have a elevated position. They're rolling the Mat V down a hill right now, but the uh, command element is stuck. Looks like their MRAT took a square on hit here, and they're still firing at it. Uh, AR fire here. Lucius, thanks for the feedback. Uh, so it's a whole squad up in the hill is about ready to close the door on the back end of the U.S. position. <laughs> it's just this one Mad V firing uh, pretty blindly up into the hill, and it is stationary. I think they, f I think INS just fired another lat at the uh, stationary. Yeah, I think it just popped. Down to about a squad size force in the valley. Maybe a squad plus size force against the entire INS team. Uh, um, four kills US, 15 for INS. It's pretty bad. Um, Sharpie got killed here by Slater, holding the furthest southwest point here on this attack. Is Timo still down? No, Timo's definitely down. Okay. And Bartok so bored with the contact directly in front of him, he is now trying to shoot at the uh he's trying to shoot at the mat v the mat v is rolling uh no mines unless it goes further west on this road um which seems like a possibility dwarf is following it in the drone i think that's dwarf's drone is that dwarf's drone yeah that's dwarf's drone oh it might hit a mine here it's going on the road it's actually on the road and it's rolling mine should be right about here Uh, maybe it missed the mine. Nope. Last shot, plus the mine. Something man uh, is now by himself. Looks like he lost a wheel there. Oh, it's an engine down on the mat feet. And uh, his gunner is definitely dead. I don't think Salton man knows. Salton man is by himself now. Raggy, JV, Frederick, Headbuster, Sir, SPT, responsible for that. Ambush. And now they're just planking Salt and Man as he runs up the hill here. Headbuster gets a hit. <laughs> He's got a Mosin. There we go, Salt and Man down. No chance to survive there. Down to about a squad sized force in the valley. What a patrol failure. <laughs> They never got to the first patrol point. They never really got to the first patrol point. Dwarf is still in a drone. Um, Mortarman fighting against Slater here, but now it's got uh, Wolfie and Lego up on the ridge line here, and he's missing all these shots. Oh, he finally hits one. And Wolfie sh funny hops to safety, and Slater pops over the hill and ends him. Uh, you already been surrounded. It is time to run. We have contact in these buildings, though. Be advised, there's definitely a fire team spread in the buildings here. No, there's not. Jack is delusional as uh, he is probably looking at his map right now and wondering why do I only have a squad left? I right, get your squad. Yeah, just fucking We're start pushing hard clearing these buildings. <laughs> Raj, uh, will do. There's definitely uh, people so in the check. Is uh, check's gonna brute force it? It looks like. Contact in the hill south. Yeah. It's a bunch of contacts south. Wolfie and Slater get displaced off the hill, thanks to a little bit of uh, support fire there. Uh, INS are absolutely brutalizing US at this point. Uh, squad three now moving off the hill. They're coming down where. Uh, they still have their vehicles up here. I would just... It's too bad the SPG is uh, gone. I guess it was the SPG that got destroyed. I didn't think it was. They should just roll vehicles in and just mow down these compounds. 
Uh, well, Clear. uh, looks like we're getting a Kilo 7-9 clearing here. There's a, there's a drone, there's a drone south. Enemy drone ahead southwest. Roger. Oh, they hear Dwarf's drone. Uh, Evan, you want to get your guys off that hill? We have a squad squad north, remember? Okay. <laughs> they're still taking... They're still taking fire from a distance here. It's from up the hill. Guys, that fire's coming from north. It's coming from northwest. That's a nice try, though. Free Stalker's <laughs> pinned in the ditch between these two buildings. They don't even have eyes on them. Look at these. Oh. Uh, that's one. Uh, and I think the hat is bored because I think that was a tandem round. Rocks, get into these buildings here. We're going to need to harden up for now. Okay, guys, whoever's in there. Inus, uh, pushing to within 100 meters of the compounds. Lats now being deployed. Fuzzy Wampus gets nailed there. Contact's okay. northwest. Looks like I got shot before the lat hit. And Vital <laughs> eats a. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So, uh, 07 looks like we're down to, uh, down to six U.S. forces remaining here. This ambush pretty, pretty strongly executed by Dorf here. Um, Silius Goose gets. Nailed through the murder hole. What? She's an absolute slaughter. Um, twenty-seven to eight, eight kills for us at the when it's all said and done here. Uh, we got Sam Fisher and Digit. I think that is an SPG. No, it's not an SPG. It sounded like something else, though. Um, it's kind of rough. Getting smoke artillery here. It's going to take a second for that to come in. Hey, we're on comms right now. Just I think we're down to four. And the drone is slowly getting eyes of the situation. Ines starting to get online here in the southeast. They're gonna probably roll down the sill very shortly. <laughs> what is that spray? Did you can't see anything? Uh oh, so we're down to three now. Oh, here comes the smoke. Smoke mortar. INS is moving under the smoke mortar. You know what? I think I'm probably going to be south side over here with my gun out. That's it. Same as. Looks like uh, US have just resorted to uh, camping. Oddly quiet. And yeah, so INS definitely know where these guys are. <laughs> They're walking in. Just three remaining. Hollow leg, same fissure. Digit. And we're gonna wait here a couple minutes for INS to get closer in. Oh man, they've rolled a uh, Dishkateki over. They're looking for people that are out of position. They're not gonna find them. It's kind of bad. Oh, like just waiting for uh Jesus, everybody's fucking dead. Great, find the Vix. And uh King Mick now just adding suppression for INS forces to roll down the hill. Pretty wide suppression fire there. The digit is out of the compound? Digit looking for things to shoot, but now he's getting shot at. Same. Um, there's only like three of us alive, I think. Oh, Digit actually yeah. shoots King Mech. Hey. Uh, Digit go John Wick now? 
He's running over here to hollow leg. Oh, did you get zapped somewhere to his north, uh, from his northwest? And he uh, gets killed by Blue Jericho as he crosses the corner there. How like did from inside the compound. And now it's just Sam Fisher who is watching a close corner here. External compound. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, he's got his gun out. It looked like he had his binox out. Uh, INS are gonna have to push this position. Oh, he's moving. Redibus running over. Mosin point blank range. What's gonna happen? Uh, barrel. Missed. Fisher gets two. And for some reason, we're seeing rockets go down. Fisher breaches back into the compound, but gets shot from behind by Slater. And what do you know? That's going to do it. For round one. Uh, 32 is the number there. A very, very, very strong number. All things considered. Anywho, thanks for watching round one. We'll be right back with round two here after this short break. Uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. It looks like we've got people massing for a briefing, and I think we're going to come down here as Dorf is giving a briefing. Set up high ground and keep pushing and maintaining eyes on the enemies. Um, the name of the game here is just patrol. Enemy is going to harass us every step of the way. We just got to do our best to fucking roll with the punches and uh, try to stay ahead of the enemy. We don't want to. We don't want to be trying to push ahead and, and break through if it leaves the rest of our platoon out of out of sorts. But we got to do our best to 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 stay mobile and stay ahead of the insurgents as much as possible. Work as a team. Fight as a team. Uh, any questions? Real quick. Um... Please keep your spacing. We saw what happened last round when you don't. It makes it very uneventful. So uh, please keep your spacing. Can't stress that enough. Yeah, um, I, I want to clarify to you guys. Um, I'll let you guys know that Bartok killed four dudes with a single grenade. And there was a couple other instances Woo! where he, people got blasted apart by like a single rocket or a single grenade. And it killed like two people. I saw that like two or three different times last round um, from the uh, drone. So... <laughs> don't don't be that guy or don't be those guys question okay about a month ago you said it was gonna be your birthday around memorial day weekend so uh is you it missed your birthday? it bud my birthday was you Monday. missed it happy Let's birthday go. Go. happy birthday, 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 birthday to you killed himself. Thank you for that. Thank you. That was Dorf, I got a question. Oh, so, Dorf, I got a question. Guys, I'm crying. What B card? Did you tell the SPG not to fire on the entire uh, US platoon as they came down the hill around one? Cops. No, I didn't. Cops. I didn't <laughs> That SPG had eyes on, could have had eyes on the entire US team as they rolled down the hill. I'm sure it did. I'm actually glad what? it didn't fire. Is this gone? But, um, if it did fire, maybe that that lucky SPG gunner could have saved the whole. I mean, he could have got himself. Uh, he could, yeah, Bartok would have not had those grenade kills. I missed the four for you got for but their Bartok, but I definitely saw multiple grenade kills killing multiple people, so. You guys did good. I always want yes. Bartok in my squad from now on. So, whoever was the <laughs> SPG gunner at the beginning, shame on you, but also good that for you. That was me. That was me. I'm sorry. Nah, Timo, it's Thank fine. It would have been... It would have been... Just yeah. to engage, I kept asking, but no one would say go for it. Oh, uh, okay. Did you die? Did you die in that SPG? I did not die because of that, no. Okay. So it would have been very bad. You suck. It, 
If you shot him, that was you know, fucking stellar, but it was actually a good thing you did it because we didn't want to ruin their experience. <laughs> My feelings. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I mean, I, so I saw, I saw two <laughs> squads and I uh, yeah. two rockets. <laughs> We're gonna walk away. Yeah. Technically, they did do their first waypoint, so... <laughs> Although they cleared it with, like, four people, so... Anyway, Timo, no worries. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm invisible right now. But yeah, no worries. Uh, you know, it happens. I mean, hey, you know what? It could happen to you this round, so, uh, good luck. True. This is really frightening. And they got scattered? I'm gonna be like 100 meters before one is out. What's really, what's really frightening? Yeah. The way, the way how fast. Alpha one one stand by for step off. All right, Dorf's pulling his, Dorf's pulling his country accent out there. I just decided to stay dead because there's only like a handful of dudes left. It's like shooting TV missiles in uh, Battlefield 4. You kill the, you kill the commander of the vehicle. It's a famous bug, if you guys don't know. TV missiles in Battlefield 4 are controlled by the pilot of the vehicle. Uh, we're live, by the way, round two of Operation Hack in the Hills. So if the TV missile in Battlefield 4, if you shoot it and destroy the projectile as it's flying, as the pilot is controlling it, you get a kill on the pilot. Also, I'm not sure what Nightbot's doing. You cannot call the same command as an alias. Whatever. Um, we'll have to tweak Nightbot here. I am canceling Christmas for whoever does the worst today. Canceling Christmas? I mean, I've already died, so. I meant this round. All right, so we do see motorized multiple bikes and a transport truck and the SBG techie rolling through from the depot here, West Main. They're gonna roll up uh, through a, a Westerner, a more West Main. SPG apparently took the ditch instead of the road, or is this the, what the, why is this? Oh, it's off road now, very good, very good. All right. No. No. Oh, we're rolling here. Round two underway. Um, I'm not quite sure. We missed the briefing where the patrol point actually is. Uh, we see Jack's already in his drone, and he's flying over here. Looking fairly clear so far. Oh, okay. So it looks like we are seeing <laughs> INS rolling straight here. Technical Charlie 9 on the ridge. Yep. There we go. I think Copy, I, have eyes on. I think INS have the intelligence uh, yeah. on the, or sorry, I have the gossip on the first patrol point, or they have the gossip on the starting position. It's kind of hard to tell. Out there. That's a big zone. That's a big zone. SPG on the ridge. I, yeah, I said engage. <laughs> Where's the vehicle? Oh, here it is. Gonna be a SPG returning fire short about 10 meters. SPG overshot by inches. SPG shooting again. Now left about three meters, four meters, five meters. Do you have a greater on that Wait, are they shooting? They're shooting AT at it from from this range. All right, now the uh, AT or sorry, the uh, MATVs are in more dirty positions. SPG. Missing. It's kind of funny that the SPG is still up at this point. Another shot. Overshot. Techie's dead. Techie's dead. Techie's dead. Everyone continue on 
mission. The technical is dead. Techie's dead. Uh, looks like we might have had a gunner the dead there. Copy three. Yeah, there was a gunner that died on the SPG as it blew up. Grab a good position and engage. If you gotta fall back west or northwest, do so. We're engaging. Woof. Oh. Close contact. I missed this. Squad three is run up on, it gets a run up on by INS. And they're on the same level here. INS dying. INS getting cut down here. US not in the best position themselves, but they have AR set up looking to their east. There's still a whole nother squad of INS coming up the hill. They're making their way very slowly, but they are moving. This thing Grenades being thrown. Yeah. Grenade out. Very nice. Someone has the surrender bug. Vital gets killed there. Just killed another guy. Yep, look at that surrender. Yeah, there we go. I would say praise the sun, but we're in nighttime here, so. Still rolling. Come to me to rearm. Nice. It's the squad's Dishkateki, squad 2's Dishkateki there. Squad 2 down to half strength. Was able to pull back. 7-1-1 is all clear. 7-1-1. Command has a bathroom. Send traffic, Alpha 1-1. Alpha 1 1 has cleared Charlie 7 1 1 over. Copy that, Alpha 1 1. Your next patrol location is Charlie 9 5 1 over. Copy, Charlie 9 5 1 over. Us, squad 1, you're close. Just get up there. 2 and. So it's, that's, I guess that's Expert's uh, best uh, Arma scripted voice. Three position and just do 360 from up there. Um, make sure you're hey, can you get uh, a watching pair of binocs, north as well. One one make sure they don't come behind us. There's like a one 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 right there. Going on up I here, can't but it's see nothing if, much uh, I can't tell if there's Man, 100 meters, front. No, 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 there's no one there. There's no one there. Clayton just got shot. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Real squad one's rolling up the hill. And there's a squad right above them. I don't think anyone has eyes on this. Everybody's in the bush. Everybody's in concealment here. Redibus and Ballistic now rolling up the hill. Ballistic and Redibus. Redibus is prone. They're trying not to skyline this. We are estimating at least a fire team is what we took down. Copy. And the other fire team had retreated. Roman, very nice estimation there. Estimating a fire team down, which is pretty much what he killed. Although he doesn't know that the second squad is behind him on that, uh, or behind him further east. MG3 trying to fire down the hill, no joy. Supervisor gets tapped by Bartok. On our ridge. Supervisor's MG3, I think, completely whiffed. Oh, and there goes Bartok. Honu from the end, and Phil9 and Blue Jericho just push over the hill and kill Honu. Unfortunate. Fader uh, gets tagged. On the hillside here, he's running and bandaging, and he looks like he'll be fine. He runs it at the compound. Yeah, we got heavy contact in the compound. Oh, Summers and Simply Shay are dead. Two and four, are we both up there with squad one? Very not good. Squad one down to about half strength. Mick is uh, by himself over here. Where's he at? Here comes the drone. He's going to be able to tell uh, Killer J squad, I think, what's going on. And got ARs now rolling, uh, suppressing fire under this compound. And this is the next compound to take, Charlie 955. So we got the uh, squad rolling up west side of the map. Down in cover. 
in the in the creek here and they're about ready to really guards about ready to run an INS patrol probably right as soon as he gets through this bush Viper's not prepared they're running past each other our objective is at compound just southeast of one south of one Ligar runs past and uh oh. Charlie Fox is dead Viper gets killed from the road Legar gets two, it looks like. He's running up for a third. And not happening. Four status. Gets drilled at the side of the road. We're taking enemy fire. One side of the squad. Got me. Get out the riverbank and just try to fucking keep a pit. We gotta get into that compound next to squad one. US in a pretty strong position. And it looks like we have a withdrawal here from the east side. INS saving a vehicle. And withdrawing. I don't think there's much we can do about it. So if U.S. takes this objective, this is actually the second patrol point. Um, For us, I think uh, MRAP to, uh, to you, so work with them. I think uh, Blue Jericho just get a hit on Sneaky. We'll just fucking try to kill more of them than they do of us. Fader just got his barrel we sticking out there. We'll have yeah, they're still in that compound to the south yeah, working of the <laughs> At least one. Are all the contests in the in the compound? Now would be the time to say yes, Phil. They cut off. I'm gonna try and go help them. The drone's above yeah, us right now. We're off. taking fire. We're still trying to retreat. The down areas. What are they shooting at? No, before we got contacts between you and me. Oh, Viper is trying to fall back to the compound. We threw a couple Phil got zinged from somewhere. Who shot him? Is that killer? Yeah, it could have been. Viper... Where did Viper go? Viper's right here. I'm pretty sure he hears... No, you're fine. Yeah. All right, let's see how Viper does against the squad here. Coming up over the hill. Viper kills Hitbuster out of the... Uh, Hitbuster dead in the, from the gun. Very nice shot there from Viper. Makes it worth. Fulcrum. Does he realize his gunner's dead? Don't really care how you do it. Just do I it. don't know. Don't take too many casualties. Yes, he does. Now he pulls back. And we're seeing a, a another push here, east to west from INS, the squad and a half. They're up here on the ridge line, Echo Eight. And Roman is now retreating. Smoking and go for it. Looks like a little bit of impatience here from US. Actually, better yet, I can do it myself. Oh, contact east on the hill, 128. Alright, command. Looks like the are probably clear. They're gonna get control of the ridge line that we just lost. So. SPT gets hit. And there's a lot of suppression. There we go. Raggy's got more of a uh, shot here. SPT needs to bandage. And he gets shot. <laughs> no. Smoke's on the way. As soon as the smoke goes, go into that compound. Yeah, Fulcrum throwing that at V down the hill. Into the tree. Very good. Very good. Uh, Han Solo Cups. Gonna, Jack's got to have eyes on these guys coming up the hill here. Interesting he's not uh, using his other drone. He gets two drones. We have a modded so he can call it from anywhere on the map. So he's not... Uh, I guess he wants to get in the fight here. Oh, never mind. They are behind us. Up on top of the ridge line, 60. Let's get and it looks like these guys are going to stop. Ridge line, Charlie, keep down. moving south. Because INS are now moving down the hill. What's the distance? What's the distance? Three south of you, there's going to be contact. Sure, Ziggy and Medic. Keep moving, Keep moving south, boys. Ada can opens up. 
on top of me. Alright, King Mick and I are gonna go for it. Good luck, everyone. And Dorf's gonna run in here and. Meanwhile, the INS command is uh, starting to get into the fight here. He's rolling down straight for the squad. He has no fear. I have one more. Can I take a second to use it? Oh, oh. Jack looking for a madman. He's gonna find him. He was uh, getting picked apart there, but now Killer J is dead on the hill. Dorf gets a kill. Oh, he thinks he killed Jack. Not the case. And U.S. stacking up to try to uh, get in here. Uh oh. Do they think friendly on the hill? They think it hostile on the hill. Kind of hard to tell. Slater it looks like. He tried to shoot there. Oh boy. Uh, Fulcrum and Liberal. You got frogs, guys. You just keep your head low. Trying to cut these guys down from coming down the hill. And the Dishkateki is running away. Oh, and uh, Fulcrum goes down. Grenades going in, it looks like all the INS are in the garage area in this uh, eastern building. Lots of, uh, oh no, a TK. Slater, oh, the grenade went through. Don't push in there yet. Yeah, I'm a little right, I'm with you now. Gorgadil caught out from the garage from the hilltop. <laughs> Loop just rolling. Uh, there are two mines on the road yeah. here. There is a vehicle in that compound. Grenade gets thrown in. Sneaky's living though. Probably just a trans. The wall. It's just smokes. I'm gonna do something crazy. Stop tossing frags. One of us needs to cover the other. One of us hops into the wall. Right. Hold on. Uh, that I think door there's one on in the, the right. No, there's definitely one in this garage. The right left? to our left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see him. Got him. Got him. What a shot by Timo. Fucking headshot. Just Hamodi and, Hamody and uh, Super Spitfire here. Oh, Jack is fighting Dwarf. Frag not close enough for the kill there. Dwarf's going to charge Jack. No, he's not in the bush, Dwarf. I have contact on top of the hill with me. Dorf's gonna push the hilltop. And there goes Dorf. He saw Jack. Jack didn't see it at first. There he goes. King Mech uh, getting engaged at range. Does he have no more? Oh, oh buddy. So sorry. It looks like he's down to a pistol there, so. Got enemy on me, enemy on me, in the building. Looking out. Get down, get down, get down. US trying to take control of the compound here. South I, building. I'm gonna clear it. So we got uh, I'm on you. SKS. Amodi got down. shot from the other way. Two down. Timo gets two. Nice. Clear. Keep it up. I'm on clear. you. Alright, bandaging. You you take point. It looks like it's clear. Holy oh, shit. Uh, Combat is clear. Yeah, 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 three go southwest. Set up a OP, okay? Cover the uh, oh, southwest. East, uh, southeast. Listen, I'm and here we go. Let's get a reset here. INS closing in two squads against one. Maybe about a squad plus, actually. And they still have the Dishka on opposite ridgeline northeast far. Hey, 
U.S. entirely now concentrated in this compound. It's like some of them are trying to run away for the Mat V. I got him, I got him. Guys moving in northeast. Copy, copy. Yeah, don't hesitate to use your. Then I have ammo for you to refill. Yeah, I just got him. I got the guy that was shooting at your us. Next location to check is. Someone got shot running to the uh, Mat V over there, I think. You got me covered while I. That is by himself now. Echo 99 says copy. Taking a bit of fire. He's hiding. Hey, Psyche, how you doing? MG3 fire coming from the eastern hill. Oh, it would be really good if he actually can get in that uh, gun. Although he might die for it, but uh, who knows. So I think that's two objectives for US. It's a bit further than US got last round. Ines still have the numbers here. And they have elevated positions. Now they're going to get the uh, Dishkoteki to come up. Hey, Edda. You there? Listen, hey, you're on the hill side. On the south. A bit too far for local comms, I think. Can you break us? Sharpie puts bullets into Zaki from the side, and Zaki goes down. Oh, man. Down to three U.S. in the compound, plus one, so down to four. As Ines, uh, actually five, because Mango, uh, Mungo, is uh, still outside. Mungo shoots to reveal himself, and now he gets perforated through the bush. Concealment is not cover. Hedda gets hit from a distance here. And it's going to use a bandage. It's just liberal and raggy in the compound now. Grenade's going in. Liberal's got a nice spot here. If anyone pushes straight through the doorway, Liberal's got a chance to shoot him dead. Here comes Mortarman. He's going to peel straight right. Come. Cartel. Liberal misses and Cartel gets the return fire. Oh. How did that happen? Liberal hit him dead to rights. Raggy now outside the compound is... Uh, Going to chance running outside. Might actually do something. And oh, this is the superior meta play. Raggy. One, two, three. Dead fucked. <laughs> Mortarman is still up. Mortarman coming back. And puts two bullets into Raggy though. Raggy gets four in the compound. Raggy has to vanish now. He's going to bleed out. Ooh. There goes Raggy. And Hedda is now suppressed. Killing it, dude. Killing it. <laughs> you fucking dabbed on cartel. <laughs> yeah, oofed. We're getting some, uh, Let's see beyond the grave. I'm supposed to really hold that like compound? All five of those kills. I hate some help here. Like yeah. Two yeah. Alright, cool. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Stop that guy on the ridge to my east. Rebel calls it early. Oh well, Hedda. I'm sorry. Did I not catch it? I... Oh. Uh. Uh. Hi everyone, good try. It was close. Good close. Okay. There we go. So. Uh. There we go. So, uh. That's the end of the operation today thank you guys so much for uh, coming in and uh watching four for one yeah that was pretty sick actually uh